He's here to respond. He's the author of Guilt by Accusation, Harvard Law Professor Alan Dershowitz. You know, I might imagine um, these are people that perhaps over the years have liked you and respected you. This crosses a line. Lockhart in particular crosses a line because really they're going to compare you to Hitler. They're going to go that far because you dared to have a different opinion based on really sound uh, knowledge, the Constitution, our founders, our framers, and you laid it out, and they just hate the fact that they disagree with you, and I guess you were so effective. Well, I think the reason they really came after me is they saw, after I made my talk and after I answered those questions, many of the senators gathered around me, including Democrats, and they all said how they were impressed by my constitutional presentation. And remember that the point I was making was about the senators. What I said is, if you have mixed motives, if you are in the public interest and you're trying to help the public, but you're also trying to get reelected, according to Schiff and Nadler, that's a crime. If you have any inkling of motive to help yourself get reelected, they call that corrupt. And they say even a, a tiny amount of motive to help yourself makes you into a criminal and makes you impeachable. And I turned to all the senators and I said, everybody in this room, every senator, every politician, everywhere, always has one eye toward re-election, another eye toward the public interest. They almost always think it's the same. They also think their own election is in the public interest. You can't make that an impeachable offense. But I never, ever said or suggested or implied that a president can do anything he wants if he thinks his election will help the public interest. That was just a lie, a distortion, and it was stated by Schiff, it was stated by Nadler, it was stated by Schumer, it was stated by virtually everybody on CNN and MSNBC, and it was just categorically false. Aid was never discussed um, at all in the phone call, but corruption was discussed. Uh, the Ukraine, the, the only fact witness said, I want nothing, no quid pro quo. Ukraine got all of their money. They did nothing. They promised to do nothing. Even if the president said to Bolton or anybody else, uh, oh, I'd like to punch this guy in the face and not give him a penny unless he does A, B, or C, it didn't work out that way. And people can't be punished for no. their thoughts, uh, I don't think, Professor, can they? Well, what I worry about is the same theory could have could put Joe Biden in jail. If somebody could claim that 99 percent of Biden's motivation in getting the prosecutor fired was the public interest in preventing corruption, but 1 percent in the back of his mind, he was thinking, maybe this could help my son a little bit because he works for the company that's being investigated, according to Nadler and Schiff. That would be enough. Well, According let me to appeal to your common sense. Lincoln gets impeached. So a vice president well, of the United Lincoln States... Lincoln gets impeached. A, 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 a vice president of the United States says to a country, fire the prosecutor or you're not getting a billion dollars in aid. You've got six hours. Son of a B, they did. Now, yeah. who's the prosecutor? Prosecutors, he knows, is investigating his son. His son has no experience in Ukraine, oil, gas, or energy. But he's being paid millions, 83000 a month. Mm -hmm. Average American family of four makes less than 54000 a year. Now, right. can you name one company, Professor, one, just that would ever pay somebody with zero experience millions and millions of dollars? Can you, does that pass the smell test? Because even Hunter said, I don't know why they paid me. Was it because your father's the vice president? Probably. Well, it's certainly relevant. And if they do get witnesses, I would think if as a defense lawyer, the first witness I would want to call would be Hunter Biden. All right, hang on one and second. Find out whether or not. Professor, hang on one second. The president is talking about Adam Schiff. Let's listen in. Extreme late term abortion because Republicans believe that every child is a sacred gift from God. Democrats are now the party of high taxes, high crime, open borders, late-term abortion, socialism, and blatant corruption. No matter how you cut it, that's what it is. The Republican Party is the party of the American worker, the American family, the American dream, 
and the late great Abraham Lincoln. You know that, right? Abraham Lincoln. Honestly. Remember, I always said I could be more presidential than any other past president, other than perhaps. All right, back. We're going to go back to this in a second. Wait. Professor, I want to really ask you that question, though. Would it, can you name any company? Professor, you're a very smart man. No. Any company that would ever pay anybody millions and millions, 83000 a month, when they have zero, by their own admission on tape, in an interview with GM, zero experience. I can't think of any company that would do that unless well, it's to, the vice president was their father. To buy access, yeah. Yeah, no, of course. And nobody would doubt that. And that's why it's worth investigating. And that's why, if there were to be witnesses, he would have to be called, because the president was entitled to say, on the basis of this information, don't you think this should be an investigation? And by the way, even if he did say it on the day that Biden announced, when a person announces for president, that subjects him to greater scrutiny by the media, by everybody else. So, well of said. course, you're going to get greater scrutiny if you're running for vice well, it, president. It mention... Instead of having been just a has-been former vice president, you don't need scrutiny. But if you're running for president, well you have to have more scrutiny. So, and by the way, I mean, he didn't mention you know, Bernie the, the or Elizabeth. He didn't mention Lincoln. Professor, I got to roll yeah. because the we have some breaking. Yeah, I got to roll. Oh, 